Okay, now our second phase to making our feathers. We got this big rough edge on the bottom and on the sides. So we want to take that thick part off the front there, clean it up a little bit. But you can see that we got that rough edge all the way down there and that big edge there. So we're going to take the grinder, the feather grinder. We open it up. We set our feather in there just like that, right up against the barb. You can see that or not, I'll show you in a second. But just like you're putting it into a fletching jig, right up against the barb is the way you want it to set. And it will crimp down nice and solid. Something in the way here. There it is. Then you clip it back on with the clip. So it's solid. <clears throat> okay, so your edge will be in there and your barb will catch on that edge going all the way through. Then you have a grinding wheel. <clears throat> and you grind that edge off. This rubber part of the wheel here keeps it from going too deep to take the whole barb off the feather. Side's finished. When that side's finished, come around and you do the side. <clears throat> then you come back over here. You can see, I don't know what the dirty table I got going on here. Pop the feather out. You have a nice clean edge to glue to and then mount your feather to. With these feathers here, I'm shooting off my longbow. I'm going to be making shield cut feathers. So what we have here is a little chopper. A little chopper, you can set that for different ones you can get shield cut or you can get parabolic cut and four or five inch these are four these are five inch here I have them set just over five inches and just for the right height that I want for my fletching to to ride on the shaft so I get good broadhead flight so what you do here with this is you take your feather just like so you line it in that edge get to where it's a good part of the feather where you know it's going to be a nice good even feather Drop that down on it there. Make a little slice with a razor in the front edge is how I always do it. To get that baby started because that quill and that feather is kind of tough and sometimes it's tough to break through it. You get a goofy cut. But, boom, one pop. And there is your nice shield cut feather. The mount on your arrow. Meanwhile, over here in this bin I got some wood arrows going on. I have them stained and hand rubbed and then they're dipped the second time two times in a mixture color I made from some extra lac that I had laying around I'll dip these and crest these again and then clear coat dip over top of the whole shaft before I fletched them and that's going to be my wooden shafts to hunt with this year out of my longbow just a few helpful tints, hints to try helping you out if you're uh, getting started into this traditional archery or if you've been here before and you just want to recap on some of the older stuff that we've done years ago and guys got, in, got away from it with compound bows and carbon arrows and plastics and all of those stuff, and I'm kind of going backwards the other way, back to uh, where I started, back to where I started shooting all these animals with my stick bows and my long bows and recurves and I'm going to go back to shooting wood arrows and natural feathers and see how we can do with it. Try getting it on video and playing around, just playing around. But it's fun stuff, man. And this archery stuff, you can't beat it. It's a lifestyle. It's not just uh, two, three weeks out of the year. It's a year-round thing. Whether it's collecting feathers from the turkeys you shoot, or scouting your animals, or splitting feathers and cutting them and getting them all prepped to put on arrows and prepping arrows and making the arrows. and It's all a process built up to the final goal of harvesting an animal. Um, it's not that instant gratification that these kids nowadays want where it's uh, trigger-happy. Shoot it, you're dead. It's dead. You know, game over. Um, 
it's no you got to do the whole thing to appreciate the whole thing and when you start from the ground up and you build them totally from the ground up from wooden dowels stain them two three times hand rub them dip them two three times crest them do all this work with your feathers and your fletching and make a beautiful arrow that turns out to be like a piece of art there's one of them here that um, I made last year and um, it just makes all the difference in the world in archery compared to bow hunting and it's not all the over-the-counter stuff it's all handmade and custom and every piece of it you use a piece of you and it means so much more to hunt and harvest an animal in a traditional manner all right enough preaching check you later hope you enjoyed the little clip and we'll keep it going when we get to the, the Pittsburgh and start fletching these shafts up